Last year, I went on a journey to figure out what was the best GAA jersey ever created on the island of Ireland. It was by far the biggest project I'd ever done. To come up with an answer, I went through every single set of county jerseys ever made. Before that, the only jerseys I really knew about were old Cork jerseys and every single modern county jersey at that time. And it was a fantastic experience. The main conclusion I came to was that the old style baggy vintage jerseys were just so cool man. There was a few modern ones that I enjoyed like the gold Kerry jersey from 2017 and this loud jersey I also thought was absolutely fantastic to look at. Going through the Cork jerseys was very nostalgic to me. It's fair to say that Cork had some outstanding jerseys throughout the years. The classic O2 sponsorship from 2004 and 2005. Barry's tee from 1994 to 1996. I even love the ones from the 1980s man. It's literally just a red shirt but it looked fantastic but recently i think the design definitely hasn't been as good as what it used to be it all started with the chill insurance ones now they're not bad jerseys by any means but comparing them to the old ones they're definitely not as good as what they used to be i just thought it was a bit boring you know one thing you should note is the size of the sponsorship for chill insurance it's pretty big on the front compared to like the O2 one. In 2021, Sports Direct became the main sponsorship of Cork GAA. Let me just start by saying this, Sports Direct sponsoring Cork GAA was probably one of the greatest things the county has ever had. They accepted a deal of 2 million over the course of 5 years. With the likes of the lottery like the Rebel Bounty, a lot of that money goes back into clubs which in turn makes us a better hurling county and it makes us a better footballing county. But in the case of a nice looking jersey, it just fell off a cliff, man. My main gripe was with the sponsorship. It takes up most of the front of the jersey and I just don't like that at all. In my opinion, a sponsor should fit on the jersey. Let me explain. It should look like it belongs there, you know? Like if you took the sponsor off a jersey, it should be the first thing you see. With Sports Direct, it just shouts at you, man. It doesn't fit it just like presents itself i hope this makes some sort of sense it's just too big it's just too big that's what i'm trying to say enough of the philosophical bullshit man <laughs> but cork gaa just announced its 2025 jersey and i think it's a step in the right direction the newest addition and what stands out the most is the collar this to me looks like a great nod to the 1990 double winners they also had a similar pattern now collars are very hit and miss with jerseys you either love them or you hate them. I fucking love them. Especially when the new collar is representing a really important year in GAA history. Apparently, there's a giant map of Cork City on the jersey. I, for the life of me, have no idea where they're getting this information. I can't see it on any of the promos or any of the pictures. It's definitely been done before and I kind of like when a jersey does this. It's just a little like quirky thing that they put on the jersey. I think Ross Common did it. And I think Limerick kind of did the same thing where they had like the name of every single club in their county. So small stuff like that, I really enjoy. From what I can see, the Sports Direct logo is unchanged. It still takes up a lot of the jersey, but look, I really can't complain. It's been four years, man. I've grown to tolerate it over that time, but I do wish it was just a little smaller. But I think the collar takes away from the sponsorship, which is fantastic. Collars have taken a back seat in the last decade. Most counties decided to not have them. Unless it's a performance thing, I really don't know why they got rid of collars. I, I just love them so much. It's just so vintage, man, and that's what they need. So with that, it's the first part of the jersey you notice. The only small issue I have is the sponsorship on the sleeves. It's the first time Cork has done this and it should be the last time they do this. Nah, I'm joking. Look, of course, sponsorships are really good for clubs and county, but there was no need for the white square, like at all. A small tweak that I would have made is just make your sponsor white. You would notice the deer and the writing anyway because the background is completely red. But look, I don't know. I don't know the process, I don't know what has to be done or what needs to be done. All in all, this is a fantastic step for Cork GAA. Of course, it's not up there with the likes of the 04 or 05 jersey, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. A few small tweaks for next year's jersey and like, you'd never know, the jersey could be outstanding. Let me know your thoughts. Did you like the jersey? Did you not? If not, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day. Goodbye.